This is the RV Yemeni Bullshit Advisory Service. You're speaking with Tom Tanaki. How may I help you? Here at the RV Yemeni Bullshit Advisory Service, we've been supplying expert advice and information on RV Yemeni Bullshit for years to the thousands of idiots who fall for it daily. Well, ma'am, your donation went to somewhere in Canada. Did you intend to donate to Canada generally, ma'am? No? Ah, well then I'm afraid you may have made a mistake in donating to Rebel News, ma'am. We're a community-run service staffed by one volunteer, described by Avi Yemeni as a far-left extremist, which means a man in his late 30s who makes videos. Yes, ma'am, I understand he says he's unhappy about police violence, but he did also say that he wanted police to shoot and kill protesters. Happy to send you the clip. What's your email address, please? Call the Avi Yemeni Bullshit Advisory Service today. We are Arvi's Missing Principles. Oh, g'day. Couple of brief updates for you here at uh, Australia's premier Arvi Yemeni bullshit dispelling service. And they all relate to this ongoing spat that Arvi's involved in with video maker Lucky Lance and his partner Zara Gard Wilson. A bit of background first of all, Lucky Lance started out at the beginning of the pandemic as I would say yet another anti-lockdown talking head video maker. But Lance did something different. He realised that many of his would-be peers were opportunistic bullshit artists. So he started criticising them instead. Now, Lance is no lefty. I wouldn't describe him as that. But he is someone who's gone on to call out anti-lockdown figureheads for, you know, opportunistic crowdfunding and other sort of scammy-looking stuff time and again. So Lance is a video guy who train-wrecked his once significant online reach to grow some principles and that's interesting because in a way he's like the mirror of RV Yemeni who train wrecked his entire personal life just to get some more online reach. Last year RV Yemeni applied for a joint IVO alongside Monica Smith head of Reignite Democracy Australia against Lance. You see it's excellent in Australia that people who are scared of physical violence from say their partner or anyone can easily get something like a, an interim IVO. But sometimes that relative ease is also abused by people who simply say don't want other people to make them look bad by talking about them in videos online. And just before he applied for that order, Avi uh, was talking uh, in online content including videos about Lance and his partner Zara Gard Wilson. Now, you would think that someone who was about to apply for an IVO against someone probably wouldn't be making content online again. But you've got to understand, you know, RV is someone who always has to feel like he's winning everything. And, you know, he also has to pretend to be a confrontational figure online for image purposes, even while he's trying to use the court system to repress someone else's freedom of speech uh, behind closed doors. In one post he did, he said that Zara had been arrested for a threat to kill uh, him. And that was absolute rubbish. And Zara, of course, is a lawyer, so she immediately launched defamation proceedings against him. Now, what's interesting is that they started the IVO proceedings uh, after that sort of threat video that they, you know, mischaracterised Zara as being involved in, leading to the defamation stuff, which we'll get to in a bit. But at the same time, those original IVO proceedings were basically thrown out of court as I understand it. So police said that there, there was no merit to them and they weren't going to proceed with them. But then Avi Yemeni apparently goes online and just applies for another one, which is pretty cheeky. It's not pretty cheeky to them. It seems pretty cheeky to the courts. <laughs> um, I do wonder if it will end all in tears for him. Ah, excuse me for a moment. Sorry. You're speaking with Avi Yemeni Bullshit Advisory Service. This is Tom Tanaki. How may I help you? No, sir. He didn't even see much action in the IDF. He just says that to look tough. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. So, yeah, two court hearings happened last week. And one was Lucky Lance contesting the IVO, presumably to free him up, I would imagine, so that he can continue to make videos about Monica and Arvi. And the other one was related to Zara's defamation proceedings against Arvi. So it was a big week. Now, regarding the defamation, Avi and Rebel News agreed to settle out of court after 
the made-up shit he'd said or implied or whatever about Zara being involved. Rebel agreed to remove the content from their site and to post a correction on their site within two days. In return, obviously, the whole out-of-court settlement thing means that Zara would not proceed with defamation and not sue them for damages. This is Avi Yemeni we're talking about, the most fragile man in Australia, and of course he couldn't even take this L without trying to weasel out of it. Now he did post the correction, but he placed it right at the very end of a bizarre and completely useless 11 minute video called, misleadingly, Hidden Camera, the age chief reporter busted for fake news. Now 10 of those 11 minutes are taken up with a Again, completely useless discussion that Arvey recorded with Chip Legrand from The Age, who once wrote about him. He filmed that conversation no less than three weeks before the, the video's release. And really, there was no reason to release it. It was just Arvey Yemeni being a pest to someone, which is what he does best in life, but it had no significance to it, the discussion. It was just inane pestering. The conversation is a complete waste of time, and in fact, not even Harvey cares about the conversation. He only released it so that he could bury the correction at the end of that video. Now, even sadder is that Harvey so didn't want people to see the correction that he had to make in one screen, because he wanted to screenshot it or whatever, that he broke it up into little separate screens. <laughs> I actually wondered if he might, you know, with this video, actually run the risk of further legal action by doing it, particularly given he was supposed to be doing a correction, but he introduced this misleading video by saying, I've had a big win. Can you see my smile? I've had a massive win, no matter what the age reports. But it does seem to me that it's more important to Arvi Yemeni to not look like he's been cucked or taken an L in his stupid fucking videos than it is to do what he said he'd do in court. You know, what a deeply abnormal little man. So that's one of the court days. Now moving on to the... Ah, uh, sorry. Excuse me for a moment. It's so busy today. Ah, the Yemeni bullshit ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Ah, uh, no, sir. No, 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 that's a lie. Yes, I understand that Avi said it was not a lie, but it was. Yes, sir. Someone is legally allowed to say that they are not lying while actually lying. Unfortunately, we cannot stop him from lying, sir. That's... Yeah, that's right, sir. Some people do lie a lot. Oh, don't cry, sir. Would you like me to direct you through to Beyond Blue? Hello? Hello? On to the other court hearing the other week. That was Lucky Lance's hearing to contest the IVO against him. Apparently that was adjourned the other day for six months for some fucking reason. That's how courts presumably work during COVID, so no big update there. But... I do have a hilarious thing to tell you about from that hearing. Now, during this hearing, Avi was trying to demonstrate that Lance has breached the IVO against him. I want you to brace yourself here. During that hearing, Avi Yemeni played one of my videos, as in me, Tom Tanaki, one of my videos to try and defend the merit of the IVO and Lucky Lance. The video that he played of mine in court for no fucking reason was the one, I don't know if you watch all of my videos, but you may recall one from a little while ago about Monica Smith and the RDA and their fundraising. They'd raised a quarter of a million dollars because Monica, you know, um, elected to uh, sort of play martyr and go into jail rather than just accepting her bail conditions and coming outside. So, you know, that made them a lot of money. Now, the problem apparently in Harvey's worldview is that I said, <laughs> shout out to Lucky Lance or something to that effect at the end of the video. Honestly, I didn't know that would be such an enormous problem for Avi Yemeni, but I only said it because I assumed that Lance might, you know, enjoy a video discussing Monica's fucking grind. After all, he doesn't seem to be able to do those videos himself without being clogged up in the legal system by these fucking time wasters. But anyway, Avi thinks that's like the world's biggest conspiracy, and it must mean we're bloody secretly collaborate <laughs> that we're secretly collaborating in the shadows but i swear to god it gets funnier listen to this arby's trying to introduce my video for context whatever that was in court 
and he describes me to the court as a far left extremist. <laughs> me, Tom Tanneke. So he's about to keep talking about me to give more context about, I don't know how much of a bad extreme dude I am, but before he can go in any more, Lance's lawyer interrupts Arvi and objects saying basically, you know, like, what the fuck? This is utterly irrelevant and a complete waste of time. And that was upheld. So Arvi, Arvi Yemeni got told to shut the fuck up going on about me in court. <laughs> what is this life? I swear to God. What is this fucking circus we live in? Now say that you're all clear on this. And when I say you, I, yeah, I mean everyone. But I particularly mean you, you weird little hobbit. Lance has nothing to do with this shit. Not now, not ever. I have been making videos about bullshit artists for years. Since before the idea ever even entered Lance's head. I have been mocking Arvi Yemeni's pathological bullshit since 2018 or earlier. I am the Arvi Yemeni Bullshit Advisory Service. Nobody tells me to expose Arvi's garbage. I do it off my own back as a community service. Do you understand me? Arvi, if you don't want me to do videos about bullshit, might I suggest that you stop bullshitting? But alas, you get the Arvi you're given, don't you? And this Arvi has to try and waste the court system's time and fart out a million and one deceptive fucking videos just to feel like he hasn't been cucked by any old nobody who dares to question him. And when I say cucked, I mean exposed. Because Arvi is a habitual liar and a complete narcissist. And what he really can't stand is when people point that out. But I guess I hope one day that Arvi can just learn to be happy with all of his success, you know? Like, this is a man who, as I understand it, threw his old family and his entire old life and his successful gym business all under the bus just to be able to make shitty narcissist videos about politics that he doesn't even really care about. Like seriously, Arvi actually isn't even a political person. He's just a great self-promoter. And he's won at that. Like you think he'd be happy with all of his success Instead, we get this weird, full-blown paranoia from a man who's, you know, worked hard for countless blessings. And I think it's because he knows that it was all built on a foundation of bullshit. So I'm afraid that it'll never be enough for the little parasite, frankly. Luckily, he has an army of people following him who don't realise when they're being tricked by a con artist. And I do, I hope that they're comfortable paying to useless donation rounds and blowing up Arvi's big old narcissism ego balloon forever. I really do. I reckon they all deserve each other. But for the small percentage who realise that they're being taken for a ride, well, that's why I'm here. That's why I do these videos. I am Arvi Yemeni's Missing Principles. Excuse me. Arvi Yemeni Bullshit Advisory Service, you're speaking with Tom Tanneke, how can I help? That's correct sir, he did plead guilty. Yes, that's correct sir, a chopping block. Thank you.